Good evening. Welcome to our weekly tarot reading. Readings are posted each Friday. This reading is for the week following January 5th, 2024. Before you begin your own reading, cards should be shuffled with intention and placed off to the side. We will be using the traditional Celtic Cross 11 card spread and we will not be observing separate meanings for cards in their reversed position. Let's get started. The first card in our spread today, representing you, the Hermit. The second card, representing what surrounds you, the Ten of Cups. The third card, representing what blocks you, the King of Wands. The fourth card, representing your foundation, Judgment. The fifth card, representing what is behind you, Justice. The sixth card, representing what crowns you, The Hanged Man. The seventh card, representing what is before you, The King of Pentacles. The eighth card, representing how you present yourself, the Five of Cups. The ninth card representing how others see you. The Six of Cups. The tenth card representing your hopes and fears. The Ace of Swords. The eleventh card representing the final outcome. The Ten of Swords. The first card in our reading today, representing you, the Hermit. This is the card of introspection. You need to develop the true power of a master. To do so, be content to be alone or with only those on your level. Do not waste time and energy on those not ready or not worthy. Introspection is required for self-mastery. The second card in our spread today, representing what surrounds you, the Ten of Cups. This is the card of success. You have an air of success around you. You are in a place where you can attain a goal that can bring lasting personal success and domestic happiness. You are respected. A successful person may help or need your help. The third card in our spread today, representing what blocks you, the King of Wands. This is the card of dynamism. The dynamics of the situation, strengths, weaknesses, and other forces blocks progress. Use these things along with science and math correctly and you will win. Watch the bottom line. A dynamic or overbearing person may be the problem. The fourth card in our spread today, representing your foundation, judgment. This is the card of reckoning. Crucial to your situation is your ability to exercise good judgment. Poor decision-making causes most suffering. An oracle can help you develop this skill. Evaluate past actions, strengths, and limits, and keep good records. The fifth card in our spread today, representing what's behind you, Justice. This is the card of truth. In the past, justice was done and truth was revealed, whether or not anyone noticed or agreed with it. A deal from the past requires attention now. The influence of laws and lawyers is waning, though never very far away. The sixth card representing what crowns you, the hanged man. This is the card of suspension. It would be good to learn the value in ordinary life and in things staying as they are for now. 
Visualize yourself suspended over your situation and gaining a higher perspective. Know your new point of view can free you. The seventh card in our spread today, representing what is before you, the King of Pentacles. This is the card of pragmatism. You will soon encounter or have to act like a person who knows how to be pragmatic and play politics. Go by your basic instincts. You may be helped by an earthy, wealthy dealmaker and learn how to become one yourself. The eighth card in our spread today, representing how you present yourself. The Five of Cups. This is the card of disappointment. Present yourself as disappointed and in the process of walking away from someone, somewhere, or something. Show you are looking for something new. If you are depressed and despondent, seek professional counseling. The ninth card in our spread today, representing how others see you. The Six of Cups. This is the card of joy. Others see you as someone who values the innocence, wisdom, and truthfulness of youth. They see you understand childlike joy, feelings of nostalgia, family life, loyalty, and friendship. You love your own inner child, and others can see. The tenth card in our spread today, representing your hopes and fears. The Ace of Swords. This is the card of triumph. You hope you can triumph over adversity and ignorance, but fear you may not have the strength to do so. You may fear the results of destroying lies and illusions or of being too forceful. You may believe that it is not nice to assert yourself. The 11th card in our spread today, representing the final outcome. The Ten of Swords. This is the card of ruin. You may encounter a situation where the worst seems to have taken place, either to you or to someone you care about. The hopes and dreams of the past may be long gone. Professional help may be required to help you put your life in order, so accept help when offered. Thank you for joining us this week. If you'd like to keep updated on our weekly tarot readings, remember to like and subscribe. Blessed be.